I think uh, that it's accurate to say that no decision has been made with respect to conducting military operations in Iraq, and so uh, no, we have not we have not delayed anything uh, as a result of the crisis in the Middle East. We, uh, I, I certainly join, I think, a great many others in recognizing the human tragedy that exists uh, in the Middle East. But of course, that has not been uh, the subject of my of my passing through here. We remain concerned with the fact that in the past, Somalia has been a place where we have seen uh, evidence of terrorists. We have seen evidence of uh, terrorist training activity inside Somalia. And so we'll continue to, uh, to check out the reports we receive. The global campaign against terrorism needs to, uh, needs to address issues in, in a great many more places than, than just Afghanistan. And so I think that we would say uh, that we're satisfied with the progress up to this point that has been made. Um, have we achieved all of our goals? Of course not, or we wouldn't be uh, continuing, you know, to continuing the campaign. Now, inside Afghanistan, I think, uh, uh, I think we feel uh, very good about where we are. Uh, but there still there remains a lot of work to be done inside Afghanistan. Saddam Hussein has been a problem for um, for the world, for certainly a problem to his own people, for a great many years. And I think that problem uh, I think that problem remains. Uh, <clears throat> we're concerned right now with enforcement of the United Nations Security Council resolutions um, that have been in place since the end of the Gulf War that assure that uh, weapons of mass destruction are not used against Saddam Hussein's own people and that Saddam Hussein does not threaten his neighbors. And now, that, that, that remains what, uh, what the coalition's interest in Iraq is at, at this point. 